Hello IELTS test takers. Are you worried for IELTS speaking test? Well, this video is for you. In today's short video, I'm just going to give you a few questions and their answers. This will help you to get an overview of what's going to happen in the real examination. So, let's get started. As you all know, the very first question will be in the exam hall about your name, like, what's your name? I found many students saying like, I'm Ms. Russell, but I want to tell you, don't do it. Rather, you should say, well, my name is Ahmed Russell. You can call me by my last name, Russell. Or even you can say, I am Ahmed Russell. I feel better if somebody calls me by my last name. Even you can say, my name is Ahmed Russell. It's my pleasure when somebody calls me by my last name. Or simply, my name is Ahmed Russell. You can call me only Russell. Dear test takers, I know it's not a difficult question. I know it's not a matter. I know it's not going to affect your examination. But still, it's a speaking test. So in speaking test, instead of making your answer too short, it's better to speak. It's better to give the opportunity to the examiner to evaluate you, to give the opportunity to the examiner to check your level. If you don't speak, it's not really possible. The very second question will be, what do you do? Many students say, just, I'm a student and they finish their speech. I don't really support it. Again, it's a speaking test. Speaking is the only goal in this test. So, you should speak. So, what can you say? Like, I'm a student. Currently, I am studying at Metropolitan University in the Department of English, for example. So, many students say like, well, I'm a student and I'm studying at Metropolitan University. Still, I say it's not enough. Probably your examiner will come again with another question like, in which department are you studying? So, it's not a good thing because the examiner is asking you the same question twice. So, it simply proves that examiner, sorry, the examinee is not really prepared for his test. That's why he is not knowledgeable about this sector. So you should say, I'm a student. If you're a running student, then currently I'm studying at so that International University in the Department of English. If you're a student of English department, you should mention university. You should mention the subject. Even you can add a further line like, well, that's my favorite subject. To end it up, like uh, I'm a student currently, I'm studying at Select International University in the Department of English, and it's my favorite subject. Question number three Where are you from? It is kind of must question in IELTS examination. So many students say, like, Well, I come from Shubit Baja Select. Many students say, like, Shubit Baja Select. Many students say, Shubit Baja. Remember, you cannot make an answer like that way in a speaking test where your speaking will be checked. Rather, you should say, well, uh, I come from Shubit Baja Salat. It's located in the northeastern corner of my city. It's a nice residential area. I've been living in this area over the last 14 years. And I'm quite pleased with, with that one. Or you can say, well, I am from Shubit Baja Salat. It's a beautiful residential area to live in, located in the southern part, eastern part, western part. It's not a matter. You can fake it. You can say, I'm proud enough to live here in such a beautiful place. Well, let's move on to question number four. The examiner normally asks a question to the examinee like, 
are you from a small family or from an extended family? Or well, the question could be like, are you from a nuclear family or from a big family or an extended family? Many students say again in the way I'm going to show you. I come from a small family. I come from a big family like that way. But it's not enough. Again, I'm saying if you are intending to get over 7.5, like 8.8.5, you should not make your answer like that way. Rather, you should say, well, I come from a small family. There are only six members in my family, including my parents. It's an educated family. I'm proud enough for being the member of this family. Or you can say, I come from an extended family. My family consists of 12 members. It's a beautiful family. The members are educated and cooperative. I'm really proud for being the member of this family. So this is the best way of, of explaining this answer. The last question of today's session is, why are you taking IELTS? It's very normal, you know. You are going for a test, your examiner may have the interest to know about your, yourself, basically by asking, why are you taking the test? You can answer this question like that way, there are plenty of reasons behind why am I taking the IELTS examination. First of all, I am looking forward to improve my English as English is an international language. It has huge demand in practical sectors. That is why I am taking IELTS. You can also say I have a plan to be highly educated somewhere from first world countries. And for that reason, as everybody knows, there is a requirement of IELTS, basically a good bank score of IELTS to apply for the good universities in the world. And also for getting the jobs here in Bangladesh, nowadays it's quite normal that they require to have better skills in English. So if somebody does IELTS, as four skills of English will be developed, will be improved, that's why I am intending and of course I am trying to do better in this field so that I can be benefited later on. Finally, I want to tell you dear listeners or viewers, the questions I explained just before, you cannot avoid them in IELTS speaking test. I would like to recommend all of you, please be better prepared so that you can make a high band in IELTS speaking like 7.5, 8.5, 8.5, even 9 out of 9. Believe it, make it and be with us every time. Thank you. Our Uddishi Yotse একদম জিরো লেভেল থেকে শুরু করা যাতে করে যারা একেবারে নতুন তারা অনেক কিছু শিখতে পারে